There are only pop quizzes here. Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yeah, hello and welcome. Let's get into it. Come on in. So, class, who's here today? We'll pick study mode like always. And one player. Always lovely to have you here with us. It's time to pick yourself a nice avatar. And I will be the multilingual bookworm. Looking great. I hope you're ready for the pop quiz. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'm Teddy, one of your two hosts for the show. Let's quickly go over how the game works. We're going we to ask already you know. Questions in we'll skip the instructions. Welcome to first grade. It's so nice to see you today. Every question here is worth 100 points. Yeah! Yeah! Let's say hi to your new classmate. Joaquin! Oh! Yay! <gasps> Yay! You can call me Joaquin, and my favorite subjects are math and geometry. Multilingual bookworm. Here are the choices for this question. It is art, astronomy, earth science, math. Well, we've got to go with art. I mean, it's new. Take in the view of this landmarks question. What city houses the Norman Rockwell Museum? Madrid, Spain. St. Petersburg, Russia. Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Multilingual bookworm, please pick an answer. I'm going to guess Stockbridge, Massachusetts. We got the answer. I just yeah. have a hunch. Well, the right answer is Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Yeah. You're right. You get 100 points. So, Joaquin, thank you for helping. Why don't you tell us a fact you learned recently? The Babylonians had a measurement for circles, which was very close to pi. Great to know. Let's all go to the next question. Multilingual bookworm. Let's see what subjects we have. We've got life science, measurements, reading, spelling, Life science? Put your hands deep in the dirt in this plants question. Which of these trees have leaves that typically change color and fall off in the winter? Maple. Pine. Palm. Multilingual bookworm. Choose the right answer. Mm, that'd be maple. Here's the answer. Woohoo! The actual answer is. Maple. Yay. Well done. You get 100 points. But that's enough from me. Take it away, Claudia. Hey, I'm Claudia, your other host for the show. It's time for us to go to the second grade. This time, each question is worth 150 points. Let's greet our new classmate and say bye to the old one. Goodbye. Bye, Hawkin. Yeah. Yes! Yeah! Woohoo! And giving you a hand now will be... My two best subjects are reading and spelling. Multilingual bookworm. Please pick a subject for this question. Pick between geometry, social studies, vocabulary, astronomy. Geometry. It's all fair and square here with this shapes question. True or false? 
A cylinder must always have two bases. Multilingual bookworm. What's the answer? I think this is like the third time we get this question and the answer is true. Your answer is locked. Yes! Well, the answer is... True! Good Woo! job! You get 150 points. So, Haley, thank you for attending. Can you tell us a fact on your favorite subject? The English language has five vowels, but uses 12 different vowel sounds. An excellent fact. Let's check out the next question. Multilingual bookworm. Please pick one of these subjects. Now it's social studies, measurements, math, earth science. Social studies? Save your capital for a visit to this next city's question. What capital city was previously known as Edo? Multilingual bookworm. What's the real answer? Oh. Um. Is it Tokyo? I have no idea, but I'm 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 just going to guess. Where actually is Tokyo? I can help with this question. Oh, Haley. All right. Um Your answer is in. Yes! So the answer is Tokyo. Yay. Nice. Got it right. Yay. Good work. You get 150 points. Let's see how the points look. Good work. That's all correct so far. But it's time we swap hosts. It's yours now, Teddy. It's my turn. Let's keep going. Welcome to third grade. Every question is now worth 200 points. It's time to greet a new classmate and say bye to the old one. Take care. Bye, yeah. Haley. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah. You'll get help from your classmate. Eli. Oh. Yes. Ah. <gasps> I'm Eli, and I'm really good at chemistry and measurement questions. Multilingual bookworm. Pick a subject for this question. It's either physical science, foreign language, vocabulary, spelling. Physical science? It's not rocket science, but it is a physics question. True or false, verdigris is a red incrustation on copper through atmospheric oxidation. Multilingual bookworm, pick out your answer. Verdigris is not red, it's green. So I'm gonna say false. And we've got your answer. Yay! And the actual answer is... False. You Woo! got this. You get 200 points. So, Eli, thanks for joining us. Can you give us a fun fact about your favorite subject? At room temperature, mercury is the only liquid metal. Interesting fact. Let's move to the next question. Multilingual bookworm. Here is your choice of subjects. It's between 
foreign language, reading, astronomy, measurements. Astronomy? Convert to solar power in this space question. The Milky Way has what type of shape? Irregular. Elliptical. Barred spiral. Multilingual bookworm. Which is the right answer? Elliptical? What even is a barred spiral? We've got it now. Yeah! That means the answer is... Barred spiral. Good try, Oops. but that's the wrong answer. But you've had enough of me. Go for it, Claudia. Almost there. We're already halfway in the fourth grade. Every question here is worth 250 points. Let's say hi to your new classmate and bye to our old one. See you soon. Bye, Eli. Woo! Yes! Yeah! And helping you out for this grade is... Isak! <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yay! Hi, I'm Isak. I'll help you with any vocabulary and grammar questions. Multilingual bookworm. Choose a good subject for you. They are spelling, foreign language, math, reading. Foreign language? Check your syntax in this foreign languages question. True or false, Zulu is a Bantu language of South Africa. Multilingual bookworm, it's your chance to answer. I have no idea, but, um, I'm going to guess true. And it is locked in. Yeah! So the real answer is... True! Yay. That means... Nice! You get 250 points. So, Isa, thanks for being here. Can you tell us a fun fact about your favorite subject? There's an unconscious rule about the order of adjectives for English speakers. An important fact. We gotta go to the next question. Multilingual bookworm. Here are your choices for this question. There is earth science, math, measurements, art, Arts is new, so we'll go with it. Keep your eyes peeled for this landmarks question. The State Hermitage is the second largest art museum in the world. What country houses it? Multilingual bookworm. Choose an answer. Oh, the State Hermitage. It could be France, just based on the name, but it could also be the US. I'm going to say France. Take it easy, it's just you and us today. We got your answer. <gasps> and the answer is... Russia. Oh. Well. Good try, but that's not the right answer. It's time for another look at the points. You've done great. Just a few questions left. But that's enough from me. It's your turn, Teddy. How time flies. You're already here. Welcome to fifth grade. Every question is now worth 
300 points. Let's say hello to your new classmate and bye to the old one. See you later. Bye, Isaac. Ah. Woo! Ah. Yes! So your classmate for this grade is... Jaden. Ah! Yay! Yeah! <gasps> I'm Jaden. I'm pretty good at earth science and physical science. Multilingual bookworm. Go ahead and pick a nice subject. Is it vocabulary, reading, earth science, spelling? Well, with Jaden here, we'll pick earth science. <gasps> Let's talk about our home for this earth question. True or false? A monsoon primarily occurs on the continent of Africa. Multilingual bookworm. Pick the correct one. I would say false. Don't they have those in Asia as well? But um, I'm going to ask Jaden. It's now locked in. Ah. You've chosen a cheat. Oh! Specifically, you've picked a copy directly from your classmate. Let's see if they've got it right. So, Jaden, what is your answer? I choose false. You're copying false. We've locked you in. We'll see if that's the right answer. The correct answer is... False. Yeah! You're correct. You get 300 points. So, Jaden, thanks for joining us here. Can you tell us all a nice fact about yourself? I can jump higher than a house, but so can most people. Excellent fact. Let's go to the next question. Multilingual bookworm, pick your favorite subject. You've got vocabulary, spelling, math, measurements. Well, let's go with math. Unlock your inner mathematician in the next question. What is the least common multiple of 8, 10, and 32? 80 120 160 Multilingual bookworm, which is the answer? The least common multiple 120? But, um, I'm going to ask the class. And the answer is in. Woohoo! You've locked in a cheat. <gasps> Specifically, you've picked to ask the class. Let's see what our class thinks the right answer is. Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Who thinks it's 80? No one. And who thinks it's 120? It's probably the second one. So who thinks it's 160? It's gotta be the last one. Ah. <gasps> yes! Yeah! Multilingual bookworm, choose us an answer. Alright, 160, and yeah, I did the math, and 120 is not a multiple of 32. And the right answer is... 160. Yeah. Nice work! You get 300 points. But that's enough for me. It's your turn, Claudia. It's here, and it's sixth grade. The final question is here. There's only one question, but it's worth 500 points. We'll have to say bye to your classmate, because now it's all on you. Aw, take it easy. Bye, Jaden. Multilingual bookworm. It's time to pick yourself a subject. We have vocabulary reading, spelling,
spelling. Measurements. Vocabulary. No thesaurus is allowed in this vocabulary question. It's the final question. You're ready. It's time to see if you're really smarter than a fifth grader. Which of these is another way of saying perplexed? Nonplussed. Undivided. Anti-minist. Multilingual bookworm. What's your answer? I kind of love anti-minist, but um, nonplussed is the correct one here. And we've got your answer. And the correct answer is... Nonplussed. Great work. You get 500 points. Let's see what that did to the final scores. Congratulations, you did a great job. Let's take a look at all the points you've earned. Ooh, Apollo land safely. Interesting. So it'll take me probably um um at least three. Yeah. At least three, possibly four episodes to unlock that. Hopefully three. We'll see. And we'll have to end the show for now. School's ah! out! Thanks again for joining us on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yeah, thank you so much for joining me here and for possibly playing along. Um, it was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And, um... If you like this video, please do leave it a like. That'd really make my day. And I'll see you again next time.